welcome back. We are going to take a look at a full stoichiometry problem. So stoichiometry involves the relationship between coefficients in a chemical formula. And I'll show you exactly what I mean by that. So let's say that we wanted to know how much carbon dioxide is produced when we burn methane, when we burn specifically one gram of methane. We can easily figure that out using stoichiometry. So the first thing that we need to do, the first step in a stoichiometric problem is to write the balanced equation. Write the balanced equation. So we're looking at the burning of methane. Methane is just CH4. Anytime something is burning, that means it's combining with oxygen and it's making carbon dioxide and water. And that is just a normal combustion reaction. So methane plus oxygen equals carbon dioxide and water. However, we need to make sure that this equation is balanced. And right off the bat, I can see that it is not because I have four hydrogens on my left-hand side and only two on the right-hand side. So to make two more hydrogens on the right-hand side, I can multiply by a coefficient of two, which means that I have four hydrogens and two oxygens, plus two oxygens here. And on the left-hand side, I only have two oxygens. On the right-hand side in total, I have four. So I need a coefficient of two in front of my O2, and I only have one carbon and one carbon. So now my equation is balanced, follows the law of conservation of mass, and now we can actually use stoichiometry to predict how much carbon dioxide is going to be made. So the second step in solving a stoichiometric problem is find the mole ratios that we need to use. And I am starting with methane. So I'm going to write down, I have 1.00 1 grams of methane. And I want to know how much carbon dioxide is formed. So this is basically going to be a longer version of the stoichiometry problems that we did before, going from grams into moles. But not only are we going from grams into moles, we also are going from grams of CH4 into grams of CO2. I want to know how much carbon dioxide is produced in this reaction. So the first step, as always, is to convert my grams of CH4 into moles of CH4. So I do that by using my molar mass, where one mole of CH4 is equal to the mass of CH4, which is 12 plus four times one, so 16 grams. And if I stopped my dimensional analysis right here, this would give me moles of CH4. But I want to know how much carbon dioxide was produced. So I need to figure out what mole ratio I need to use from my balanced equation. I need to know how much CH4 it takes to produce carbon dioxide. So I'm going to look at my coefficients. Remember, the coefficient is the large number that comes before a chemical formula. Notice my coefficient in front of CH4, there's not one there. And my coefficient in front of CO2, there's also not one there. When you don't see a coefficient, that means that really the coefficient of 1 is there. But we never write a 1, it's just common practice. So for every 1 mole of CH4, I produce 1 mole of CO2. So to go from moles of CH4 into moles of CO2, my one mole of CH4 will go on the bottom and one mole of CO2 
will go on the top of my fraction. And this is for the same reason that we want our units to cancel out. So on the top and the bottom, I already have grams of CH4. I can cancel those out. On the top of my fraction, I have moles of CH4 and moles of CH4. So now I'm converting my moles of CH4 into moles of carbon dioxide. I need one more step in this equation because I want to know how much carbon dioxide is produced in grams. So my last step in my dimensional analysis is to use my molar mass, one mole of CO2 over 44.01 grams of CO2. And then remember we multiply everything that's on the top of our fraction and we divide everything that's on the bottom. So you would have 1.00 times 44 divided by 16 which will equal 2.75 grams of carbon dioxide. So Every one gram of CH4 produces 2.75 grams of CO2. And I solved that, again, by writing out my balanced equation and then deciding which mole ratio that I had to use. This is essentially just a larger conversion problem. We're still converting from grams into moles, but not only am I converting from grams into moles, I'm converting from moles of CH4 into moles of CO2. So that might make it a little bit more complicated, but as long as your work is organized and you can see where your units are canceling out, it should be a relatively easy problem to set up and solve. If you have any other questions, make sure that you leave a comment I will post an example of a harder question that we can solve, but really stoichiometry is easy as long as you're staying organized and all of your work is written out. Thank you so much for visiting my channel.